So in today's vlog, I want to share with you guys uh, very useful tips on how to boost your results. Now, if you're a client, you've probably heard me say this. I share this with my clients a lot just to help them boost their results. Now, I gotta say here, if you don't eat towards your goals and you're not working out, are these things gonna help you that much? Are you gonna see that much progress? Not really, they're kind of like an accessory to your workout regimen. So you wanna add them in to help boost a little bit. Um, so we're gonna get started with number one being water. You guys know this is my struggle. It's always gonna be the number one tip. Try to drink more water. I'll add the formula in here. I added it in a different video. That is the formula to figure out how much water you personally need because everyone requires a different amount based on how much they weigh. Um, and aside the fact, which by the way, I still am using my clever little, I love this thing. I love it a lot. Uh, I don't love the effects of the lemon. <laughs> it makes me go to the bathroom, uh, but I like my little pitcher. Um, going back to what I'm saying, aside of the things you know about water to be true and how important it is for you and how healthy it is for you, did you know, in fact, did you know that even being 3% dehydrated, a level of 3%, meaning 3% of your body can lower your performance or muscle strength in the gym by 19%. So I mean, if you're even more dehydrated, which I think I am victim of this often, that means your strength in the gym plummets. And I was just thinking like back to when I was hitting my PRs that day, I'm like, did I drink enough water? Maybe I would have hit it had I just drink enough water. And you may think this is not a big deal, but imagine if you're more than 3% and, you, and you're and you trying to perform with like 40% uh, muscle strength decrease because muscles are mostly made of water, so they need it. Um, that impacts you a lot. And say somebody, you know, they're sitting there squatting at their 290 and they want to hit 300, but they just didn't drink enough water, so their muscles don't have as much strength to take them to 300. That like makes an impact. So I thought I'd add that in there. It's a pretty cool fact. But number one, try to drink more water. Do it in clever ways, add lemon to it, make it fancy. I don't know, just force yourself to drink a little bit more water. Now, number two caffeine. Of course, everything in moderation, don't OD on the caffeine, but if you drink a cup or maybe two, preferably with as little sugar as possible, um, black would be even better before your workout. It forces your body to um, use fat for energy, for fuel. So that's kind of an awesome boost because like, who doesn't like coffee, right? I love coffee. But mix that with uh, fasting. As you guys know, I fast. And when you fast, what happens, like say you're gonna do fasted cardio, what happens is instead of your body using your breakfast for energy, it instead taps into your fat storage and uses that. Um, I know that there are people that say, no, if you work out fasted, it taps into muscle. If you have fat in your body, it will not tap into muscle ever. The number one thing it will tap into is fat. Once you're like at, really low body fat percentage and you're uh, working out fasted, then yes, it could be like, that's the last thing it's gonna do is tap into muscle. It will not tap into muscle right away. It'll go to your fat. Um, but caffeine helps with that. And that's why pre-workouts do have caffeine in them. It's just the other crap in there that I don't like. So that's why my pre-workout is always coffee. I have one to two a day right before I go work out. And now the third thing I recommend is a fat burner and I usually like to stay on cleaner ones, more natural ones, um, and get away from all the chemically fillers, questionable ones. So for that, I usually recommend uh, something like L-carnitine. Uh, there's two, so don't get confused by them. There's one that's for the brain, right? I believe, and then one that helps your metabolism. Now, when I say fat burner, you don't take this and it literally burns your fat off. What happens is it helps increase your metabolism, which in turn burns fat. That's why this is good if you're working out, if you have a healthy regimen. If you're eating at a surplus and you're taking this you're not really doing any fat burning. You see, you see the dilemma there? Um, and also, if you're at a very severe deficit, this is kind of harsh on your body. Um, you could even faint. It's a little bit too much. So you have to make sure you're eating enough. Now, I say this from experience back before I even started working out. I think he told me about it and it, it had other benefits or something. I took it in the morning, like without even, re like as though it was just a vitamin, right? I ended up passing out and fainting because I had no food um, and it, you need to eat with this. Um, so this is a, a good fat burner to take. However, I don't really like this brand. The thing with vitamins is that a lot of them are bullshit. A lot of vitamins are filled with crap powder or something different. They did a study where they would like take random vitamins and test them out and they would have like a herb in them that didn't do anything, like a worthless herb. Um, and you think you're buying some magical 
vitamins. So for that reason, I did do my research and now if we buy any vitamins, it would be uh, Thorn. I can link it for you guys because they have done a lot of studies where 100% when they opened up those pills, that's what they found in there to be. It's really sickening when you know that like you buy a vitamin and you're not even sure if it's good or not. Even like um, if you buy like Omega, a lot of it is like bad already so it doesn't work like the it, it's gone bad the shelf life has gone bad even though it's not expired on it somehow the way they make them um, they're not that good so it, I, I know it's really discouraging to hear that but I was super happy to have found thorn I think it's thorn that's how you say it right yeah um, so like we're switching to that right now I'm not currently taking this I am considering it <laughs> but I'm not currently taking it because I'm kind of doing this slow fat loss I'm not trying to like really boost my results like crazy and get really lean and lose all my gains and all that so for that reason I'm not currently on it so it's a great fat burner but you still got to make sure you're eating towards your goals and working out and then it becomes a really great accessory to add to your regimen moving on creatine Creatine is the only supplement I will ever vouch for and say it is great. Make sure that when you buy creatine, you check the ingredients because they do always add artificial color flavor in there. Um, and you can get it if you want it to be colored, which I don't really care for that. Look for um, beet juice and that'll color it. Uh, but usually it's like a red dye that they put in there. And then they'll put sucralose, so you gotta pay attention to that and make sure it doesn't have it. This one is not flavored at all, so you can add it in like a juice. We do like a Trader Joe's green juice or anything really, a V8 that you like. Um, we'll put it in there. Now the thing about creatine, which is awesome, you can take it if you're cutting or bulking. It does help with your performance. When I've taken it, I feel stronger in the gym. I pack on a bit more muscle and um, the glutamine, which I like to mix it with, is because the glutamine helps you recover quicker. So, you know, you have a really intense workout, you want to be recovered by your next workout so that you go through the process of, you know, a breaking muscle fibers, repairing them, and back to breaking muscle fibers. But if you're not recovering fast enough, it could slow down your progress. Um, now the great thing about creatine is when you do build muscle on creatine, what happens is it increases your metabolic rate. And this is super crucial when you're cutting because what happens when you're cutting, you're eating lower calories, it's getting in the way. When you eat at a, a, at a deficit, it's getting in the way of your muscle building. Um, it could bring your metabolic rate down. And so by using creatine, it kind of helps with that. So if you want to hang on to your muscle doing like a lean, after a bulk, this is something you should consider. I'm definitely going to jump back on this. Um, I cycle off of this. I don't stay on it. I don't believe in staying on anything for very long term. I just don't like the idea of it. So like say winter comes and I'm bulking. I'm not going to use it that much. Um, or, you know, it's just a time where I don't, I don't need it. That I, that I won't use it. But for now, because I want to get shredded and I want to hang on to as much muscle as I can, this is something good I could take in the gym. Also lowering calories, you're losing a little bit of strength. This is going to help you with that. By the way, I'm not being sponsored by this. You literally go in the store, you buy it, you don't say a Florina coat or anything. This I think we bought from Vitamin Shop, but you can find it other places, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we're not being sponsored for any of this stuff. Let's move to fiber. Fiber is super important because what fiber does, when you eat fiber, um, it absorbs a lot of water, it retains water. So it kind of blows up a little bit in your stomach and it keeps you fuller for longer. Now this is great if you don't have an appetite or if you have an appetite, my bad. If you don't have an appetite, this one fiber can kind of not be the best, but it's still important for your diet. So you, you may want to eat a little on the lower end because it's, it's uh, recommended 30 to 50 grams. Stay on the 30 grams so that you're not eating the 50 and feeling super super full and suppressing your hunger. Um, but fiber is good for that, but not only fiber is unlike the carbs and protein, how it equals four gram or how it equals four calories per gram and protein equals nine calories per gram per gram. It only equals two calories. So like when you consume fiber, which is a which is considered a carb, um, it's not the whole full four calories, so you can eat more. That's why you can eat so much more veggies. Veggies are a huge volume, but lower calories, and that's because of the fiber content in them. And now, ways to get your fiber in. We don't. Mm -mm. We don't get the, we bought the supplement how many years ago? It is, it's full. We don't, uh uh. I would rather just get it from Whole Foods, get it from your beans, um, you get it from oats, whole wheat, 
I'm kind of going blank, but there's a lot of ways you can get fiber in. Just start checking the labels of everything, but if you eat a lot of veggies and fresh fruits and vegetables, you're gonna get in more fiber. Um, and of course your beans, cause that's really, really high in fiber. And it's awesome because as I said, you know, it's only two, two calories per gram, so it kind of brings the calories down of that specific food. Um, we've tried so many supplements, everything is nasty, and it's kind of harsh on your body. I feel like you blow up. So for that reason, just stay with foods. <laughs> um, but yeah, fiber is a great one. And now my all-time favorite. Like, I've been doing this for years. I live by it. It's amazing. Green tea. As you can see, this entire shelf is for green tea and raw honey and abuelita because we all like some hot cocoa. You know? It's yummy. More hot cocoa. <laughs> but moving on. Uh, the one I like is Bigelow green tea with wild blueberry. I don't actually add honey in here unless my throat is hurting or, you know, I just really want to get in some raw honey, which is really good for you. But if not, I just drink it as it is and it tastes great. Ask him too. He said it tastes great. You literally taste like a little bit of blueberry in there. But the thing with, with green tea is it keeps your midsection leaner. It can promote fat burning, but don't count on it being a lot. It's something you want to kind of add into your lifestyle and you'll feel leaner by doing it. Um, but the great thing about it is because I don't drink a lot of water, now say I feel dehydrated. I haven't drank water all day. What are you going to do? Drink a gallon of water? It's not healthy. You can't really catch up on lost water time, if you know what I mean. Like if you drink too much water or too much of anything, it can become bad if you didn't split it up throughout your day. So what do you do? You drink green tea. Now green tea not only is going to replenish the water that you've lost throughout the day, but it's got antioxidants in it, it's got its vitamins, minerals, it's got good things in it, so you're replenishing more than just water. So when you're dehydrated, you drink water, you're replacing water with water. But this replaces minerals, vitamins, antioxidants, all that great stuff in there. Um, and it's, it hydrates you more than water itself. So for that reason, I'll I'll start drinking green tea if I know all day I have not been drinking water and I need to, you know, bring up my hydration. I'll drink like two, two, um, eight ounces. No, my machine does 12 ounces of water. So two 12 ounces of water, um, to really help me with that hydration. Um, decaf. Decaf, yes, but make sure it's naturally decaffeinated because there is such a thing as not naturally decaffeinated, which is pretty bad for you. Um, so make sure it's naturally decaffeinated. Uh, what else did I want to say about green tea? I wanted to say something else. Um, I used to drink, I don't do it anymore because it makes you pee often and I really don't want to get up and pee, but I used to drink like three to four cups at night when I was super, super shredded. I'm telling you, I believe that ha that helped keep my tummy really, really flat. So just a tip, try it out. Uh, again, if you're not eating towards your goals, it ain't gonna do shit. If you're not working out, it's probably not gonna help that much. All of these are just added to your regimen. I'm gonna keep saying that so you don't think like one of these is a magical miracle worker. These are tips I give my clients. So clients, sorry if this is not new information to you. If it is new information to you, read your FAQs. No, I'm just playing, but no, read your FAQs. You're probably missing out on some good information there. <laughs> hey you. All right, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Six great tips. I highly recommend you try them. Something I haven't shared with anyone but my clients. So feel honored or happy or I don't know, just feel something. Anyways, um, another thing I wanted to say, thank you so much. You guys are freaking awesome. I was about to end the food videos because I just thought no one cared about them, but then you guys expressed that you really, 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 really cared about them. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna keep them in. We're gonna keep doing them. Um, that was awesome support. Continue it, and I will continue to be motivated to post them. Um, another thing, you guys have been asking about the laser and wanting the update. I've only lasered once since the video. <laughs> so you guys gotta give me a little bit more time to see how it's working. It is doing great. My, my Everything from the lower half is responding perfectly. My armpits are being a little bit stubborn, but um, I'm gonna, I wanna do it the right way so that I can you know, let you guys know how it's going the right way, not have you guys invest in it and then be like, oops, well, I didn't get to the sixth treatment, but I should have gotten to it before telling you guys, you know, so I like to do things the right way. Uh, top, by the way, I know you guys are going to ask, this was part of the haul where hubby went shopping for me and picked out all the clothes. Really cute top. It fell like on one of the swivel ottomans that we have and it was like down there when I we saw it after the video. Uh, he had gotten one in white though too so you you saw it in the video just not in this color which I really 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 like this color. Um, if you haven't seen that video you should check it out it's pretty funny and I think we're gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did as always give the video a thumbs up it lets me know hey we want more videos like this and I shall do them. 
Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little bell right by the subscribe button so you're notified every time I post a video like this or something cool. <laughs> and until next time, bye guys.